Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on multiple choice questions. And these questions are going to help you in many competitive exams. The example here is, a die and a coin are tossed. Find the probability of getting at least three and a head. So when we are saying a die, we are talking about a fair dice, which is kind of like this, right? Correct. So we have a dice here. Let's see. Okay. So they are tossed. The probability of getting at least three and a head. That is what we are looking for. So when our dice is tossed, we could get numbers from one to six and for a coin we could get head or a tail. So you need to find the probability of getting at least three and a head. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions, correct? Now, what do you mean by at least three? That really means that we are looking for numbers which are three, four, five, and six. That is at least three, right? This is what we mean when we say at least three. Perfect. Now I think it becomes absolutely clear and you can easily find the solution. Perfect. Now there are many ways to go about. Let us uh, make a tree diagram to get to the solution. So, uh, so the possibility for the numbers is what? We could get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So these are the possible numbers which you could get from the given dice. And for each combination, you could either get a head or a tail, right? So for each combination, you have two possibilities. You could get a tail or a head, right? So for each, we have two, we could get tail or a head. So I hope that is absolutely clear. I'm making this tree diagram so that you could visually see what is happening and how to get the result. In a competitive exam, however, you're not going to do all this, correct? But this will help you to visualize and get a quick answer. Now, when we say probability, we're talking about uh, we want at least three and a head. So the probability is always favorable outcomes. Over total outcomes. Correct. Now total number here is six times two. So we could write this total very easily here. So initially, as far as dice is concerned, total outcomes are from 1 to 6, correct? So here we have 6 possibilities and here we have 2. So when you multiply 6 and 2, you get your total number of outcomes, which is 12. Perfect. Now we are looking for at least 3. That means for the dice, the number should be 3, 4, 5 or 6. That means these are 4, right? And for each 4, we have only one possibility of getting head right so we get here four times one which is four on the top correct now when you make a tree diagram how does it help it helps you to visualize so that's the whole idea so we could actually visualize from here and see what our outcomes are so tail i mean three and head four and head five and head and six and head. So these are the four favorable outcomes, correct? So we get 4 over 12 as our answer. So when you simplify this, both could be divided by 4. So you get um, 1 and here you get 3. So the answer is 1 over 3. Option B is the right option. Perfect. 
So I hope that is absolutely clear. Now if you get this question in multiple choice question test, then what you need to do is straight away. You know they have dice which has possibility of 1 to 6, a coin, head or a tail. So two options, total is 6 times 2. That comes in the denominator, favorable. Out of these, the numbers are 3, 4, 5 and 6 and from here only 1. So 4 times 1 comes in the numerator. So 4 over 12 or 1 over 3 is your answer. So it shouldn't take more than few seconds to answer this question once this concept is clear. So I hope that works. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.